Hello and welcome to the Lockleys Bowling Club in Adelaide, the venue for the 12th Lawn Bowls Championship of the World. 27 countries arrived here two weeks ago in the hope of claiming the richest prize in Lawn Bowls, that is a world title. Today it's the men's pairs final and it should be the clash of the century. Australia taking on Scotland. Taking a look at the Jackaroos pair, and Leif Selby is no stranger to the big stage. The world number two has silver from the Commonwealth Games and gold across Asia Pacific Championships and World Cup. Pairing with Selby is Australia's reigning international and male bowler of the year, Aaron Sheriff. He's ranked four in the world and is looking to add gold to his world championship silver and bronze medals. Well, Leif, congratulations on reaching the final. How tough will it be to beat these Scots? Oh, obviously, it's going to be a very tough game, a uh, world pairs final. Uh, look, we played those guys earlier in the week and uh, we played out a draw. Uh, we both look really looking forward to this game. It should be a fantastic contest. First time, Aaron, on this green. How long will it take you to get acclimatised to it? Oh, it should only take a couple of ends. You know, we get a uh, two-end trial uh, before the match starts. So, uh, you know, we'll be really having a good look at the green with our, uh, with our trial ends and uh, hopefully we can uh, get off to a real good start. Let's take a look at Scotland. 39-year-old Paul Foster will be leading and Foster is a champion across both the outdoor and indoor game. At the Melbourne Commonwealth Games in 2006, he took out the gold in the pairs with one of the game's greatest bowlers, Alex Marshall. Marshall's list of achievements at world championship level is quite amazing. He won the silver in the singles in 2004, pairs gold in 2000, silver four years earlier and in 1992, he took out the double in the pairs and fours. Congratulations, Alex and Paul, reaching another final. You've been here many a time, Alex, but still the nerves? Yeah, there's always a bit of nerves, you know, before a final. Uh, just looking forward to it and just can't wait to get out there. Earlier, you beat the Aussies in the final at uh, Holfast Bay, Paul. What experience did you gain from that which will help you today? Yeah, obviously, it was a hard game back then, um, but just to play in the greens um, back in May and to get another shot um, today. And as Alex says, I'm really looking forward to it. And joining me in commentary, Kelvin Kirko. And Kelvin, it seems the whole bowls world is abuzz with the potential this final could bring. Absolutely. Four of the best players in the world, Alex Marshall, Paul Foster from Scotland, playing our Aussie boys, obviously. They met in round one of this 2012 World Championships and they had a 17-all draw, so we're in for a great game. It's remarkable to think that Alex Marshall could win a world title 20 years after he won his first. Absolutely. I mean, he's been an, an unbelievable player. Uh, he's, he's got better as he's aged, I think, so look out for him. I think they're going to be hard, hard to beat. Well, it has been a long slog over two weeks to get to this stage. It is the men's pairs final world championships. A beautiful day in Adelaide. And this has all the makings of one of the great contests. Australia v Scotland, four of the best bowlers in the world. Very healthy crowd. And what is a perfect Adelaide day. And that is Leif Selby. He rolls the jack and the Aussies have come up a little bit shorter than the practice ends on a green that hasn't been used by these bowlers so far in this championship. Kelvin Kirko and nervous times. First in. Yeah, it should be a great match. Four of the best players in the world. And this particular no, TV mate. rink hasn't been played on for about four days, actually. About so it'll be a little bit slower than the other greens, but we should be in for a great game. Paul Foster from Troon in Scotland. One match. Just recently won the Scottish International Masters before coming out here to Adelaide for this World Championship. So he's been in form. Then you get. Come on, Ben. Wait's perfect. And this will be a replay of round one of the 2012 World Championships because they met in round one and it was a 17 all draw. So, going by all reports, it was a, Couple, Matt. a game not to be missed. Scots are unbeaten so far. Just the draw against the Aussies, as you mentioned. They drew with Fiji in round 11. Made it through to yep. the final with a 13-12 win over England. Yeah. This looks good. Hold on. Nice, yeah, good, good shot there from Lace Selby. So it'll take a few ends for the players to adapt to this speed. It's running about 15 
seconds, the, the pace of the green. This final is 18 ends, and each bowler gets four bowls each. It's okay, mate, just in a little bit, mate. A couple of feet. Selby. Just going to slide on by. Paul Foster in trying to beat his previous close bowls. Yeah, mate. Just going to run away a little bit. And probably the shot bowl, though. Looks like it'll be... Just ran on a bit more, didn't yep, it? It has. It doesn't matter how experienced these bowlers are, and they're four of the best and most experienced in the world. This is still a world championship final. It's going to take a couple of ends for these players to settle down, get used to the speed of the green, get the nerves out of the system. It is a TV game as well, so they both want to win. Mate. The world well championships done, only come around every four years, so they've got to make the best of it while they can. A good bowl there from Aaron Sheriff. His are the white. Leif's are green and the, the Scots have got the blue bowls. So easy to distinguish between the two nations here. Very narrow there. Pitch good, mate. Alex Foster. Alex Marshall, I should say. Aaron Sheriff drew the shot with his first. Can he make it two for Australia? Push. Well, he's only got to keep coming. Just going to pull up. Yes. So there's still room, plenty of room in this opening end. Well, Alex has definitely got a wider line this time. He had good weight with his first bolt. He's got a bit on no. it still. Look at a little sit in the Australian bowl he has. Oh, yeah, one to Scotland, the blue bowl. From Alex Marshall. Both teams would be looking to try and get a good start as well. Give him a bit of confidence. What can Aaron Sheriff do? Just going to go through the hole, I think. Just a touch over weight. One thing we've been short of in Adelaide the last couple of days. Sun. It's a beautiful day today, though. Yes, it was very cool a few days back, I can assure you. But it is. It's a lovely day in Adelaide. It's not coming around. Mm. This is it. Last bowl of this first end for the Aussies. Sheriff. He looks a little on the wide side, yeah, maybe. Try, buddy. I, wasn't, turn. I wasn't happy with it. As soon as he let it go, you could see a perplexed look on his face. And now, a real chance here for the Scots to pick up another shot here. They hold one. Yes, this last bowl of the first end. Alex Marshall holding one. He'll be trying to make it to his opening end. It's turning nicely. Has he got the legs? It has. And just stuck in there. And that should be, well, one says the marker. And so it will be one to Scotland. They open up this men's pairs final with a shot. It is. 18 ends, the final, and after one, Scotland lead 1-0. If we learned anything from that first end, Kelvin, maybe the two things, one, the players are nervous, and two, they're still acclimatising to the green because the jack was never really under threat at all in that first end, was it? No, they're still adapting to, to the pace of the green, and, and like I said, this green one yard, Matt. particular TV rink hasn't been played on for three or four days, so it is a little bit slower than the other 
greens at the venue. But I dare say it'll pick up in pace as the game goes on. The greens have been so fast here in Adelaide for the 2012 World Championships that it's been a very good home advantage for the Australian team especially. Last few days as well, the wind has been howling here in Adelaide and that would have had an impact on play in the last couple of days and today it's a lot stiller. So you have to change your mindset there as well. Yes, definitely. There's been quite a stiff breeze uh, in recent days. Make conditions very tricky. Come on, buddy. I see ya. Down you get. Leif Selby Down you get, buddy. played this well. That's awesome, a fantastic Andre. shot from Leif Selby. And that's the first touch of the final. That might be the catalyst for both teams to... Just put the foot down a bit. So much anticipation about this battle between these four great bowlers. Come in. That's three pretty, dare I say, average bowls. Yes, to Paul Foster's standard, they're certainly not his best three bowls. He just sort of struggling to find on, his mate. weight. And Leif Selby, well, it looks like Down he's get. jumped on this again. Get, well, and there you play, see it, play. that's awesome from Leif Selby. Well played. So Australia lie two. He doesn't muck around poor Foster, does he? A very unorthodox Down delivery on, as well. well. He's a lot closer with this one. He's very well played here, I think. Paul Foster, it's a Beauty. I think it's still the Aussies, at least one. Bit of the blue, you get the jack. Last bowl here for Leif Selby. Hurry. Come on, buddy. He likes the line. Oh, he's just got to run. Has he got the pace? He's trying hard. Just well done, well played. Going to run away. It's a handy bowl. It's one to the green bowl of Leif Selby. Alex Marshall, one of the best players to come out of the UK. Don't you get me? No, good start. In preparation to the World Championships, yeah, Alex actually went to the Rarula Bowls Club near Wollongong to practice on the Australian Greens in the last couple of months. Aaron Sheriff, a good weight. Just need a bit more grass. Hey. He's going at the hurry, but I don't think he's got enough width. He's just going to slide under again. That's one to Australia. Aaron Sheriff. Well, he's got I'm a little turning. bit on it. He's not going to turn really either. Well done, It'll be a handy bowl there, though. It'll break up the, the blue bowls of Scotland. The Jack was to go back. So Alex Marshall, he's playing weight. Um, he doesn't like it. Looks like it's going to run well under the head. I don't think he had enough weight there for the shot he wanted. So one to Australia. They've got two bowls left in this end. Scotland just the one. Well, Aaron sure if he could get some contact on their own green bowl, but I don't think Push he's hard, going mate. to. Push hard. He gets very on that blue bowl. That's a very good bowl there. Well done, buddy. Aaron Sheriff. How does this change the mindset of Alex Marshall? Yeah. yeah, Alex Marshall. You've got to be very careful. There's only one Scottish blue bowl inside four of the other Aussie bowls. So he can't afford to lose his bowl. So he'll be just trying to get another one in the head or draw the shot. Oh. Too late, 
He doesn't like it. Gave up on it early. Wasn't far off. Try me. Well, there you go. There's the call. If you can push the green ball up or trail a jack. A chance to make three here. Maybe even knock the Scottish bowl out of the way. Well, he's close. He's only got a turn. It's coming. Trying. He might hit him in for two, though. Well, there's two. At least two. It is two. They can see two, the Scots. And so Australia hit the lead after two ends. 18 ends this final. It is the men's pairs at the 2012 World Championship. It doesn't take long for players of this class to, to work out how the green runs, does it? No, they're just slowly adapting. And like I said, it's uh, just picking the pace of the green. Getting their line, getting those nerves out of the body. Working out which side of the rink is going to be the kindest or the best side of the rink. Uh, Leif Selby, he... Wait, good. Let's on the first end of the game, played the, the other hand, his backhand. And he's changed to the forehand, so just searching around to find which is the, the best hand to play on the particular rink. And Leif Selby, he had good weight. And Paul Foster's followed him down. Well, he's picked it pretty well. So there you see it. Paul Foster with a good opening bowl. Remembering the pairs is four bowls each. Better here. From the four players. Come on, Leif. Push, buddy. Hurry. Hurry, mate. Aaron Urge and his teammate on. He's only got to run it. Oh, good uh, shot. It's a good track. Run back, man. 15 inches short. Leif Selby, also the Australian singles representative. 2000 World Championships as well. Been in good form there as well. Just a fraction wider, mate. It's great. It's very good. Very good, though. Good start from Paul Foster. His first two bowls. So I think he's just starting to tighten up a little bit. There's the bowl of. Leif Selby heads down the green. Let's head down, down green here, side. Andrew Holmes has Aussie coach Robbie Dobbins with him. Andrew. Thanks, Mark. Robbie, what are your uh, initial thoughts on the way Aaron and Leif have started? Well, you know, I think they've, they've all started pretty well. You know, they're probably a little bit nervous, the home four players, actually. But Alec and Paul has been here sort of many times before. It'll take our guys a little time to settle in. But arguably, you know, these, these four players are probably the best four grass green bowlers in the world. So it will, it'll be a close game. If, if they all play to their potential, it'll be a close game and it'll be anybody's game. This is a green that hasn't been used much in the last few days. How you've, have you found them finding the pace of it? Well, I, you know, I think the pace of it's fine. You know, 15 seconds, and if, if the wind comes up, we don't want it really any quicker than that to make good bowls out of it. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to a real good match. Thanks for your time. Welcome. Robbie Dobbins there. Good, mate. Well done. coach for this final. <laughs> that last one, it's good. Paul Foster back on the mat. The land a little bit. No, like, it. Doesn't like it out of the hand. Okay, mate. It's like two shots of the two blue balls of Scotland. See a good crowd in. Being blessed with the weather today. The last couple of days in Adelaide have been extraordinary. Very cold and very windy. Today it's perfect. Not too hot. Well, you're close, mate. It's just a nice breeze. And Come on, This is a nice bowl. Will it turn? It picked the gap. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's bowls for holes, as you would say. Aaron Sheriff, very unlucky not to get the shot with his bowl. What's good, mate? Uh, Alex Marshall. He's got a bit of weight on it, though. He might get the same hole as Aaron Sheriff here, the way he's going. <laughs> it looks like he has, but he's just pushed his own bowl out, so there'll be only one now. And then you see the crowd that's arriving. Beautiful temperatures, really. 21 currently. Very little wind. So it's ideal conditions, really. With his men's pairs final. Good, 
Gorgeous, great. Remarkable what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, the wind was that strong, it would have blown the hair off a hippie. Today, there's nothing. Except the men's pairs final, which has everyone intrigued. And three, the Aussies lead by one. Scotland hold one. This man's bowl. Alex Marshall, he won his first world title in 1992. Don't mind, mate, if you want to go. Any contact here, you're a big chance of getting the two. Well, Aaron Sheriff, he's going to have a drive here looking for the two Scottish blue bowls, or at least the shot bowl. So it's Aaron Sheriff, going to have a drive. He's on the mat. Can First he get one of the final, he's, well, he's lined it up and hit his own. Well, he's got a result. I'm not sure what's happened. Could be one to Australia, but I don't know. I'll have to wait for the call from the marker. It's great, mate. It's close. One to Scotland. One to Scotland, says the marker. Bob Carlson. <laughs> Another yard there, Paul saying. So Aaron Sheriff, look at that, weight into the head. Didn't get the result he wanted. Okay, mate. Yep. Alex Marshall didn't, okay, mate. didn't deliver that real well. It looks like it's going to be one to Scotland only. Alex Marshall will be disappointed with his last. Last bowl coming up here. Yes, Aaron Sheriff. Got a good two and a half feet to get the shot. I nearly back him on this. Can he do it? It's got to turn. It's got to turn a long way. It's too wide, isn't it? Yeah, and he's pushed it a bit as well. Two and a half feet, mate. Well, the player's just struggling to get the, the weight and line here at this stage of the game. Big chance here for Scotland. They hold one, and there's plenty of room to... Grab another here. This is very wide too. Hey. He's not far away though. He's only able to beat that wing bowl. Has he got the legs though? I don't know that he's got it close enough. And it is one to Scotland. And so we're locked at two all. After three ends. 18 ends the final. And Australia and Scotland, two all after three. Yeah, it's going to be one extreme to the other here in Adelaide. It can be freezing cold one day and boiling the next. <laughs> I've witnessed that this week. Obviously, the hot weather brings the flies around. Bit of air guard. Lee Selby is pulling up short. Players just struggling a little bit to get their, their line and weight. One of those reasons, I think, would be that this green hasn't been played on in, in several days. It'll get better there, the more yeah, games that get played on this, on this rink. <coughs> Ladies' pairs final. Will be played as well on this rink. Half behind. Nice Selby, great line. Just got the unders and overs. A little frustrated. Down you go, mate. Down you go, Paul. Right oh, by. There's too much room for Paul right Foster. By. Selby, if he can put one in his between his previous two bowls, he'll be right on it. His line's been fantastic, it's all on his weight now. He likes this a bit more. Very close here, Leif Selby. Well, that's a very good bowl, it's a good second shot. Same ball again, mate. Touching the jack's good.
Big effort, mate. All the way back, Paul. Right back. Alex urging it on. Yeah, that's two good balls. Oh, Selby doesn't want to be short here. He must reach the head. Most likely two down. He's not short. He's just a little wide. Sorry. Yeah. It's behind the head, which will be handy. Alex Marshall, two-time Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Four-time world indoor champion as well. Yeah, good man. There you see it, a great shot from Alex Marshall. Falls back on the jack. That'll be three shots to the Blue Bowls to Scotland. Well, Aaron Sheriff, he'll be playing weight, driving at the head. Can he hit it? Gets past the front. No, oh, he's he caught Lace's front bowl. But it's a big target way, still. And you hear it, Paul Foster saying, yeah. Alex, on the line, mate. See if he can get in the way. Trying to put a blocker in, but I don't think he's going to get back to the well, single line. Oh, Aaron Sheriff, he'll be going at this again. How's he going? He's missed it. Ooh. He has. But two more chances. <laughs> That's the thing about this four-four pairs. You get a four contact. goes at it and get with your last. But try to hold a fraction, mate. Not an easy shot. They hold three. Yeah, Scotland, so this could be a very big end. It is. So Alex Marshall, he's trying to get on this centre line to block Aaron Sheriff. And just, you get well... You get it, mate. He's probably widened the target, so a big opportunity here for Aaron Sheriff. He's got to hit this head. Three down. Miss with his first two. Can't afford to miss it with this one. He's got to make contact. Any contact on the blue balls? Aaron Sheriff. Here we go. He's on oh. target, is he? He's got something. Well, he hasn't oh, got the best I result. I think it's now four to Scotland. Well, not a good result. Looks like four, four blue balls of Scotland. Here you see it on replay. Aaron Sheriff trying to make contact. Kill the end. Remove a few of those blue ones. Bad result. And now four down. He's got one bowl left. So to to Scotland. Does he have does he have to go again? Well, it's interesting. Uh, Australia's only got three bowls on the green now. Aaron Sheriff. We'll wait and see what Alex Marshall does. Like it. Yep. He'll be trying to draw another one to make this five. Drop now, mate. Well, he looks good. Drop on the line. Whoa. Well, cracking bowl from Alex Marshall. Well, there we see it. Five to the blue. This could be the biggest bowl of the final. Just to try and save five shots. Azza. It's Two. online. He's just missed. He got one, but it's still four to Scotland. And that is a massive end after it was killed twice by the Aussies. They couldn't do it a third time. Scotland pick up four and lead by six shots to two. There's a nice buffer after four ends to lead by four. Shortest end now that we've had in this final. Yeah, it's very interesting choice of lengths from Scotland. The previous end was quite a long length. And they've shortened this right up, so they are mixing it up a little bit. Can the Aussies respond now? Certainly not panic stations, but you'd think the Aussies would desperately like to win this one. As you can see there, back-to-back -back ends for Scotland. They wouldn't like to concede three in a row. No, definitely not. Foster, he's corrected well here. And there you see it. 
There's a few Scots in the audience as well, as you can hear the cheers in the background. Lee Selby wasn't far away with his opening bowl. Well, if he can oh, hang on here, oh. he's a chance. He's not too oh. far away. It'll be a good second shot. Oh, Maybe shot even. Oh, it's going to run through Turn a bit. Turn down there again, mate. Turn yours. Get under, you get the, get the blue. The good thing about this 4-4 <laughs> format, bowls behind the head can be very handy. Two Aussie bowls just short of the jack. Oh, if he needs to get up, if he can roll Push. his own shot bowl, be good Push. enough for one. Good, mate. Well done. Not like Close. Me. In the area. Paul Foster not mucking around, straight onto the map. Very quick player. Just a bit wide again. Look you there. Play <coughs> for the yard weight or so. Try and remove the blue bowl. On, reasonable mate. line. Hurry. It's a reasonable Hurry. line. Very Great. good shot here. Lake Selby from Australia. That'll be four to the green bowls. Well played. And there it is. Four shots to the green bowls of Australia. Life Selby. Yes, the Scots have got all the back bowls, but they're four down. Alex Marshall will be just trying to draw. Oh, looking at his line, he's going to run under the head. It's good. It's a good weight. Disappointed. Oh, can I get four back here, the Aussies? Backhand here from Sheriff. Doesn't look. Flick on the jack would have been handy, I think. Yes. Alex Marshall. Sales manager back home. Hey. Come on, you're close here, mate. He's not far away this Drop. time. Drop. He's played a ball terror. Well played, Alex Marshall. That'll be close for shot. A real opportunity for Australia. Aaron Sheriff. Can he sit the shot bowl out? No, Jack. Gets the blue bowl. No, He's got it. Great shot from. Aaron Sheriff, unlucky probably. The blue ball is jammed, but they've got the shot at least. Couple. At least two, maybe three, but at least two. Here we go on replay, sitting Alex's Marshall's last ball out onto the jack. Definitely lies two. And the market confirming that. Marshall just trying to draw, get another bowl in the head, even. I didn't turn. Good weight, but he's just too wide. Didn't turn much, though, from out there. Didn't turn to. So, uh, new territory out there. As I was saying, the green hasn't been played on as much. Bit narrow here from Aaron. Well, he's looking to sit weight. the Scottish bowl, but I don't think he's going to turn. He's out in that wide track and oh, very good. really hung. Got to be careful here. Scotland only really have one bowl in the head. The blue bowl on screen, probably about third shot. Scotland really need another bowl in there. Not short, that's for sure. Well, he's got another one in the head, but I think it's still two to Australia. Mm. Two. Yes, big opportunity here for Australia. Aaron Sheriff 
He'll be looking at the two blue bowls, at least the, the third third wood bowl. If he could remove that, Australia could pick up a three or four, maybe more. Come down. He's, close. He's, He's got He's it. He's just nicked it, though. Uh, He's got one of them anyway. He has. It's a chance of three here. Certainly two. Four, four, four. I think. It's four. Well, what a comeback from the Aussies. They dropped four the last end. They've picked up four this end. And it's locked at six after five ends. Fresh local produce, great shopping, pristine beaches, amazing scenery, all within just 20 minutes of the city. And what make Adelaide one of Australia's most livable cities? Terrific city, Adelaide. Take a wander through the central markets. The food is superb. You can indulge yourself at Adelaide's Hague Chocolate Factory and then relax in the centre of Adelaide by the River Torrens. It is a terrific city, Adelaide. Late end's gone. Australia trailing Scotland. Scotland leading 9-6. The Scots in the driving seat at the moment. Let's head down to Greenside. Andrew Holmes. Yeah, I've got David Goulet down here with me, the uh, Scotland coach. And uh, David, uh, slowly but surely, just picking these, uh, these numbers back one by one. Yeah, certainly, you know, I would take a three-shot lead at this stage against this Aussie pair, but to be honest, I believe, you know, the green's not been played on for a few days and the guys seem to be battling the rink a little bit, but particularly in the first few ends, but they've settled down now. How, uh, how do you think they are gelling together as a combination? I mean, you as a coach must be very confident sitting here knowing you've got uh, eight bowls in the hands of two very good players. Yeah, I mean, Alex and Paul are without doubt one of the best partnerships ever. It's just not their playing ability, it's a team dynamic, you know, and they're the current world indoor champions, and no one's ever won both in, in the same year, so it's a big day for them. Are you able to enjoy the spectacle as a coach as we are as spectators? No, to be honest, I think my nerves have been sh shattered this week. It's, uh, it's a lot worse uh, sitting at the sidelines. Thanks, mate. All the best. Thank you. Yeah, it's up for the coach, Thanks, having no control. But his charges Production, mate. We're good. <laughs> are in control of this start. match at the moment. They lead by three yeah, shots. And this end is the halfway mark of the men's pairs final. But a better start here from Leif Selby. Yeah, it's a good start from Australia. Leif Selby sticking to the forehand. Away from the commentary box. Come on, mate. Run. He's good track again here. And that's well a done, good mate. start. That's just what we well wanted, done. Australia. Well Two good bowls from Leif Selby. Done. Paul Foster. He had good weight. Not too far away this time. Very close. Well, wow. it's a bit unlucky. Touch of the jack from Paul Foster. I don't mind that, mate. I, you know, you draw down here. Get to there's good. That one really turned. Sorry. Yes, it's a little bit tricky. The tends to be if you, you just pinch your line a little bit, it tends to bend a bit more like than up, what man. it really should. I think that's just due to a lack of play on this particular rink over the previous few days. I think that'll improve. Bit of weight here from Foster, but that turn, didn't it? And it's knocked a, the Aussie bowl and the jack and. It's a shot to Australia. Very lucky. Oh, if you want it down there, mate, it's, it's available. Very lucky result. Nice Selby. Oh. Can you nail it? Come on, buddy. A little more. He's definitely going to count for more. another one. Hold on. Good shot. Definitely be two to Australia. Marshall. Course, mate. It's not a bad line. Just dying a bit. Oh, it's on, holding mate. there now. Very it's good, almost mate. held enough for the shot. Maybe second shot. Only one to Australia now. 
share of 2010 and 9 gold World Cup singles. Get running, mate. It's 150th game for Australia today. Well, it's good. Turn your run down for the shot. If Australia could win, it'd be one that he would remember. You hear the wind just gusting in the background. Marshall, the wind's got him. Pushed him out. It's just come out of nowhere, hasn't it, really? And some clouds starting to form as well. What was a beautiful day has all of a sudden become quite breezy. And a couple of clouds forming. Still in do? sunshine, and this is not a bad bowl. Just going a little bit. Yeah. Stay, mate. Done it yourself, if you like. Well, Aaron Sheriff could have given it away there. Alex is chasing, but it's turning. Three come. That's good. Good. Help with me. It's nine six to Scotland. Australia holding one. Aaron Sheriff, can he make it two? Well, it's not going to turn. It looked good. It looked good, but it just held. A bit of breeze. Which good set the ball touched the weight. There's the call from Paul Foster to Alex Marshall. Australian flag. Plenty of support here for the Aussies. And the breeze started to pick up just a short time ago. They were almost blown off. And then you can see how the breeze is really straight down the rink, too. There's a bit of a headwind. And some flies. Alex Marshall. One down. He's looking for the jack. Just not going to turn. try, mate. It'll be one to Australia for sure. Aaron Sheriff with an opportunity to make it two. <sighs> Very frustrating. <laughs> Need something here. Scotland's won the last three ends. Big moment here. For Sheriff and on, the Australians. Sorby likes it. Is it going to turn? Come on. Not sure that it is, Kelvin. Yeah, Come it's on, a good Ezra. track. If he gets under the front Come bowls, on, he'll make it two. And he did. And that is perfect. Yep. Right when it was needed. On replay, Aaron Sheriff, absolutely perfect. Drawing a number two counter, a little touch on the jack. And it's Australia. Trail one, nine eight. Now, a little more. Selby, fairly handy opening bowl. Then Paul, you're not bad here. Clear run now. Right up. There's a good bowl here from Paul Foster. Comes around Leif Selby's opening bowl. Yeah, well, Plex look on the face of Leif Selby at the other end of the green has <laughs> got away from him there. Yes, he changed hands. Just run on a little bit. Paul Foster. Right back, Paul. This is good. Just good trying man. to pass Very the good. head. Anything just behind is going to be an ideal bowl. They're on the halfway mark for this 2012 World Bowls final. Right on, the mate. men's pairs. Down you get, buddy. 
Nice Hunter. Selby trying yeah. hard. Great shot, mate. Very good try. So that last one, mate. Just millimetres off getting the jack. Leif Selby. You hear the wind gusting in the background again. Drop it now, Paul. Keep swinging now. Up yet. Up yet, mate. Alex yeah, urging it on. Well done. So close, mate. Close to number two. The green's speeding up a bit. Starting to run on a little bit more than the first few ends. Yes, the wind had probably drawing the green out a little bit. And obviously the players walking up and down. Hurry. Just sort of getting a bit more speed out of it. Life just hasn't got there with that. Disappointed. I just did that, mate. Last ball's about. Oh, Put in a half shot of Jack High. Just try and turn mine, yeah? Yeah. Just put on your own, mate. Down. Down, Paul. Paul Foster. It's got a bit of weight on it. Just too quick, mate. That's okay, mate. Won't be all that bad down the back. Hold two, Scotland. The two blue bowls, I think. Alex has decided to take his hat off again. Aaron Sheriff. Oh, as a hurry, Can he lift the Aussies. Come on. He's not too far on, away if he's got the legs. Aaron Sheriff. Well, it's a good try. An inch is short. <coughs> One run, mate. Come on, Alan. He's not far away here, Alex Marshall. Same thing. He's just going to pull up a touch oh, short, I think. Do you like it there? Arriving? Arriving through mine? All Yours right. is good, mate. Even this. Does he go clean with, your, go clean with yours? Or? Oh, there is a bit of a gap, but you're probably just reaching the ditch, mate. All right. So Aaron Sheriff, he's going to try and play some weight through the head, try and remove the shot bowl if he can. He's just got to make contact and needs a bit of luck. Got a good connection here, buddy. Needs yeah, a bit of luck. Shot, well, mate. great shot, Aaron Sheriff. A beauty. Outstanding, wasn't it? Exactly what he'd hoped for. And the Aussies had to. Mate. On replay, Aaron Sheriff, perfect got contact. As well. And gets the follow through. The got jar. both bowls, two, bowls. For two shots. <clears throat> the white and the green of the Aussies holding two. Here's Alex Marshall now. Bit of weight on this. Oh, needs the jack. He's on the wide side. He's just missed. Still two to Australia. Can't get both hours clean. Can't. Well, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Not sure about that, Leif. <laughs> Let's sit one down here, mate. Aaron Sheriff, he's been asked to go down the back by his partner, Leif Selby. That'll. He's got to stay on. He doesn't want to go in the ditch because Scotland's got the best two backward. I think he's dropped in. Oh, hang on, it might have stayed on. We can't see from here. No, oh, there it is, right on the edge. I see the white bowl of Aaron Sheriff right back down on the edge in a perfect spot. Alex Marshall will no doubt play some weight. The Aussie pair looking pretty confident. Alex Marshall will be trying to play weight. 
He's not playing a lot of weight. Push. But he's certainly in the area. No doubt about that. He needs the right contact. Well, he's got contact. And the jack's gone out the back. I think it might be one to Australia. Good, mate. But the shot bowl's yeah. probably a good metre and a half away. So Aaron Sheriff needs to get as close as he can. Aaron Sheriff. Gets the ball away very well. Well, it's new territory out here as well. No one's been out there. Well, it's not turning a lot. I can. Well done, Az. It's going to count, though. Oh, well done, mate. I think it's out. Aaron Sheriff's suggesting it's out. Yep, it's out. So it's picked up. It's out of play. And there's yellow markers on either side that tell you where the green is. And that was outside that yellow marker, just to the left there of Aaron Sheriff. Well, oodles of space here. You would think Alex Marshall would draw this, but Aaron Sheriff's bowl did not turn from out there. Is it going to get back in? It well, did. It fell over just enough. It's in play. And it is one to Scotland. So the Aussies. Trail by two, Scotland picking up a shot. And after 10 ends of this 18 and final, it's Scotland 10, Australia 8. Let's go downstairs, Andrew Holmes. Thanks, Mark. Uh, Aaron Sheriff, mate, uh, they're only getting ones here at the moment, a string of four ones. That's nice for you just to keep the scoreboard intact. Yeah, no, we, um, fair to say that we're uh, finding it difficult to, uh, to get close and, um, and to, to make the big shots. So, uh, you know, for us only to be uh, two down um, with plenty of time left and, and, you know, we know we can get a lot better. It's, um, you know, it's a good feeling. Kelvin's made the observation that the greens might be just fastening up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the last, you know, three or four ends, the greens have got a lot quicker. So, um, this wind's going to make it even more interesting. Thanks, mate. Cheers. The Aussies would love to string a couple of back-to-back -back ends as well. They haven't done that so far in this final. They won the second end, the fifth end, and the ninth end. All the other ends have been won by Scotland. And Paul Foster signalled wide here. Next time, Matt. That's well short and well wide. Yeah, it's not a very good bowl. Leif Selby from the Rarula Club in New South Wales. Yeah. Four feet, Matt. Right. Both players just leaving their bowls a bit wide. Not back turning into the wind. A bit of cross breeze now, maybe, but new territory. The just doesn't seem to man. turn. And Paul Foster, well, he's totally lost it there now, trying to overcorrect. Just holds on. Go on, buddy. Hurry. No chance, Matt. Leif Selby, he's, he's not much closer. Okay. Very tricky. Perfect example season. how difficult it is. These are the four of the best bowlers in the world having Don't. some trouble because of the conditions that have changed quite dramatically okay. in the last couple of ends. Yeah, quite amazing. At both players... It tends to be, if you get a bit wide on this rink, it doesn't turn and then you overcorrect and, and play a narrow line and it tends to turn a lot more than you think. Clear. Well, Selby, you'll Run get the now. shot with this. Hurry. Still going to be a good metre or so oh. short. Go on, you're on, mate. Dropping that well, inside. It's frustration. Best line you've had yet. Oh. Oh, Paul Foster, he's certainly not short. Two feet. Right. Slap of the hands. Oh, it looks like they fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not easy out there. A bit of wind's come up. 
So it's a fairly long length. And it's a fair prize they're playing for. As a pace. Oh! And Leif Selby's a lot better here. Then you get Woo. Woo. only got to stop now. Good night. Yes, we do. We have four of the best bowlers in the world, and you can see that they're struggling with the, the green a little bit. And Alex Marshall. Hey! Oh, he's picked it. He's picked That's it with his man. first bowl. Four time world indoor champion, Alex Marshall of Scotland. Good mate, I think. Come on, Azza. And Aaron repeat. Come on. Just got to get there. Well, it's got to be quite. close. I think it might still be Scotland. Mark is not prepared to make a call. He is now. One to Scotland, he says. Oh, Alex Marshall, he's got a tighter line. His weight was good. Three, mate, you pick it, whatever you see. You take it clean, it's three. Pull the jack straight back. How far is he uh, short, mate? Yeah, it's 10 inches in front of the bolt. Aaron Sheriff He's looking at sort of playing a bit of weight onto his own bowl. Maybe remove the shot bowl. Well, gets the right contact here. Oh, nearly. Almost. Oh, As it lies, Australia has three seconds. So Alex Marshall, he really needs to try and get another bowl in the head here. Otherwise... Aaron Sheriff, we looking to get rid of the blue. Well, Paul's clapping. Oh. Oh. Looks like a bit quick to me. And he is, so he's run through. So an opportunity here for Aaron Sheriff. He could remove the shot bowl. I just heard Lave say to him, I'd like to see you take that out. Well, it's an important time of the game. This is the 11th in. Australia trial 8-10. He will get last crack at it too. Aaron Sheriff, here is the weight. Here we go. Well, he's close to the jack, oh, I think. He's got the jack. Oh, well, he's unlucky because Paul Foster's earlier lead bowl is going to be the shot right back there on the edge of the ditch, I think. Yep. That's about the worst thing that could have happened there for the Aussies. How hard is it now with the the jack in the ditch to be aiming at that little yellow marker behind the the yes, jack. Yes, it's a full length. It's going to be a good probably 36 metres or so. And Alex Marshall, he's got about a metre. He's very capable of doing it. Run, mate. Uh, well, I don't Keep know whether going. he's going to get there or not. He's maybe yes, just going mate. to pull up. Wait. No, he's in by the sounds of it. Paul Foster's mm. clapping. It's two to Scotland. Well, Aaron Sheriff's last bowl of this end. The 11th in. If he could draw the shot here, it'd be good. Where's he going? Well, Leif's Hands watching. Up. Aaron Sheriff, this would be big. He's got to stay on, though. Got to go. He's tapped the blue bowl. And it will be two to Scotland. It is two to the Scots. And they win back-to-back -back ends. It is going down to the wire. That's Australia 8, Scotland 12, and the Aussies. Well, they've got to win. They've got to win this end. They can't afford to let the Scottish pair, with as much international experience that they've got, get any further in front because they're very, very good front runners, these two boys. Leif Selby. He's not far away here. 
It's a handy start. Well done. Well done, This is good. <coughs> Very good to you. Well, Foster's corrected as well. Oh. Just thought you were Still good. Still one to Australia. Up to you, Muddy's that. Stay here, right? Okay. It would be fair to say, so far after 11 ends and for the difference that the Scots have played the bigger moments better. I think they've just got the right results at the right time so far in the match. And the Aussies have had the opportunity a couple of times and probably haven't got the, the best result. Obviously the previous end, Aaron Sheriff had a chance to remove the shot bowl. Just off target, got the jack and... They've dropped a two when they're only one down, but if you would have removed the bowl, you could have laid three or four. So you've man. got to make the best of your opportunity. Keep running. I'm going to have to start with a bit. Two and a half. The Scottish boys are just hanging in there, just plugging away. I think the school's really indicated it. I think it's been very equal. They still have won eight of the 11 ends, though, Scotland. They have. They've just, they've just been out doing them. Fight real hard. Good bowl here. Good shot, buddy. Mm. Well played. I'm sure, though, if you said to well, Leif and, and Aaron after 11 ends, yeah, Scotland will have won eight of them, that you can be within four, they'd think, well, OK. That could be a lot worse, couldn't it? It could be. A, the good thing about it, they've only given them mainly ones and twos. Nice, Obviously, there was a four there. Very near this. Very near Paul. Paul Foster. Down. He's corrected well here, though. Oh, that's a good bowl. Paul Foster. Plate's good. Paul Foster from Troon in Ayrshire. He owns a taxi. He had the pleasure of using his service at some stages when I've been over there. Buddy. The other one. As far as you can now. A little more. Come on. Good shot. That's a handy bowl. Live Selby. It's one to Scotland. Australia's got a couple of seconds. Drop me. Drop. He's not too far away here. Excellent, he man. gets half of that, he's going to make another one. And that's a beauty from Alex Marshall. So that's two to Scotland now. So Aaron Sheriff. Playing weight. He needs a bit of luck. He looks wide to me. He's going to need some luck from out there. He's got one of his own bowls. That's not what he wanted. Just the same, mate, or? Same again. Oh, I feel this is a big end mark with Scotland four in front, holding two. Australia can't afford to lose more than one or two, on, the worst. Come on. Get across. Get across, mate. Just a two, mate. Think. Yep. Just draw down through there. There's the call, Leif Selby. Come on, mate, draw the shot. I don't think that's going to come back from out there. Get a bit wide there, it just doesn't turn. Look, he had lovely weight, jack high. Yes, I really believe this is a big end of the match. Australia need one. Alex Marshall is trying to draw another one. And he's not far away. Can he open it up or something? No. Uh, I'm not sure whether it counts or not, but it's not far now. away. It is a bit of a guide for Aaron Sheriff, that previous bowl of Alex Marshall. Aaron just needs to beat that. He doesn't like it, that. Drop the shoulder straight away. It's not going to turn. Wait again. Uh, it's just not letting go on that hand. It's two to Scotland for sure. Third one's a measure, I think. So 
Sound like shoes the flies away. There's a bit. Uh, come on. Just enough. Hurry! I don't think he's here this time. Okay, mate. Okay. And this is where Australia needs the bird on the shoulder. Got to get lucky here, really, don't you? Yep, and need the luck. This could be for the championship. Well, here we go. We're going to find out. Oh, no. two. And he saved the shot. But it's still two to Scotland. And... That is three ends in a row for the Scots. And it is now 14-8. After 12 ends, there's six ends remaining. And Scotland lead by six. No, it was a bit of a hit and, hit and miss sort of situation. Relying on a lot of luck on that previous end. So now Australia's got some work to do. And as you can see, Scotland really have dominated the ends. They trail 14 8 Australia. They've been playing so well. I think in this particular game, it's. Good start, Matt. Good. They just haven't played as well. Scotland have struggled a little bit as well, but they've just probably outplayed their opposition enough. And now Australia are on the back foot. Big win. Not up, mate. Certainly life struggling for Change me. Yeah. His first bowl or two. He really needs to put the pressure on his opposition, Paul Foster. And this particular direction they're going now towards the yep. away from yep. the commentary boxes probably been the hardest way to play. The, the heads seem to be a bit looser. They're virtually bowling directly into a headwind, which is obviously making it a little bit tricky. Now Leif Selby, well, he played his first bowl on the forehand. He's gone to his backhand now. So just not picking it at the present time. You can't afford to leave this sort of room for these players. Alex Marshall, one of the best players in the world. Once he gets in front, very, very hard to beat. Foster. Foster, you're good, mate. I don't think it's going to turn. Just tends to be holding once you get out there a bit, as we we're saying. Very frustrating. Selby. Well, it's one to Australia. There's still plenty of room. Marshall, he looked narrow to me, but he's, he's, he's riding it. Good start, mate. Perfect Good weight, but just under the line. Ryan, buddy. Okay. Aaron Sheriff. Wow. Boys are certainly struggling. They're not playing as well as they have been. They've been on fire throughout this tournament. 
Okay, yeah. Wait's great. I think it, I think it's just not all them. I think the as we're saying the green hasn't been played on for three or four days. God. Drop me. Drop that. Well, Alex oh, Marshall's God. drawn the shot. Looks too wide again, Aaron Sheriff. They're not coming back from out there. That's barely moved half a straight line almost. And Aaron drops the shoulders, looks at it. No. You've got to believe what you see. And I think the boys are just starting to let this get to them a bit. I think they've got to believe what you see is what happens. And Alex just tends to be picking it a bit better at the moment. And this, when there's a lot of room, he's just going to outdraw you all day. Marshall. Now, if he gets a bit of jack here, it's bad news for Australia. Well, it's going to be two, so two blue bowls on screen. Well, Australia needs Aaron Sheriff here. Keep this match alive. He needs to draw the shot. Well, it's only got a turn. If you can make contact with the only Australian bowl, it'll be good enough. Well, it's got to be close. I don't know. Can't be much in it. Oh, it's close. No, it's not. It's two. I think it's two. The marker has put two blue up. I would have thought that it would be a measure for one there. The marker gives his opinion. There it is. And, yep, yeah, two. Yep, there you see the rings, the two Scottish bowls are definitely closer than the Australian white bowl of Aaron Sheriff's or even the green bowl of Leif Selby's. Well, Australia's got to win this end. It's one bowl each from both skippers remaining on this particular end. And it's 14-8 to Scotland. In this men's pairs final for the 2012 World Championships. And Alex looks like he's going to play a bit of a blocker here. Getting away of Aaron Sheriff. And it's got to be a good four metres short, that ball, but it's got in Aaron's line. Bring the crowd alive if you can get the shot. What's well, on the way? We'll find out. He stopped chasing it. He doesn't the arms like it. It's, looks like it's turning a lot. Not even close there. And another two shots for Scotland. And it's the third end in a row. The Scots have picked up two shots. And after nine ends, Scotland had 9 8. After 13, it's 16 8 to Scotland. And the end is nigh. In 14. To begin, We've only 18 ends. That's the length of the match, and as I was saying earlier in this game, the Scottish boys, once they get in front, they're going to take some beating because they're going to be growing with confidence. They're well known as one of the best combinations around the world. We're almost at the stage. Kelvin, the Aussies must win every end, pretty much. They are. They need a score. And I just can't see it at the moment. They're just struggling. Well, this is a good start from Leif Selby. This is what's needed. They need to put the pressure on. It's a good bowl because Leif's just been struggling a little bit. Scotland's won seven of the last eight ends. Yeah, it's very convincing. And it's just been too much room for Alex Marshall. He's got the shot. He's come up with the shot every time he's been Great down. Effort, Great effort. Australia haven't been Very able to man. respond. Bye -bye. Ready, but Scotland now, 16-8. They can play safe. They'll be prepared to give one away. They don't need the shot every end now. 
They won't mind giving the Aussies ones or twos. Because Australia's going to have to come up with a three or four here somewhere or win the remaining ends of this match. Once again, inconsistency. May sell be a good line, but finishing a good metre short, maybe more, four feet. Selby. Australia hold one. Come on, buddy. Trying Come to make here. it two. Come on, mate. A little more. Just little got to more. get there. Not too far away. Yeah, well played, Leif Selby. They'd, they'd given up on that, both teams. <laughs> he was a bit wide and a bit heavy, but that one's bit and almost got back for shot. All players seem a bit surprised there. Giggle here. Like Paul a little bit surprised. <laughs> oh, Alex Marshall. Pairs and fours, gold medalist 1992, going back some time. He's also a four time world indoor champion. Been out to Australia several times. It's remarkable to think that he won his first world title there in '92. Come on, little buddy. This is not a bad effort oh. from Aaron Sheriff, and that's a terrific bowl. Is this the spark the Aussies need? Well, it's a much better lie, much better played end from the Australian Two team. Still there. And this is the way they've been Just playing the earlier in the week. Well, they've got to put it together now. They can put two or three ends together like this. It's what they're going to have to do. But they've got to contend with this guy, Alex Marshall. He's saying it's staying out there, but it's turning a bit. Not enough, though. The point I was about to make with Alex winning his world title 20 years ago, there are some members of the Australian team here this year that wouldn't have even been walking when no. Alex won his first world title. No, quite Swing. amazing. Swing. Another great bowl. Well, he needs the right bounce. Well, that's going to count. Well played, Aaron Sheriff. Well, come on, Aussie. Crowd's come alive. Well, I've definitely got three. Both skippers with two bowls each to play. And three shots to the Australian pair. I think Alex Marshall will play some sort of weight now, maybe. He's lined up for his forehand, so I imagine he's going to play some sort of forehand ditch weight runner. Oh, he's it's playing staying. weight, but I think he's wide. Oh, he's oh well, he's made got it interesting. <laughs> got a lucky result. <laughs> That's a bird on the shoulder. It was on the Scotty shoulder there, wasn't it? Well, there is a little hole there. So if you could draw through there and draw another one. He's got to be careful, obviously, the Scotland bowl coming in. He doesn't want to turn that up, but it's at that stage of the game where they've got to try and get a two or a three. Come on, Az. Hurry, mate. Well, Leif's cheering him on. If he can get around the front bowl, just not going to quite get there. One bowl left each. He's going to play some sort of weight. I think Paul Foster wants him to play good solid weight through this, but 
Alex has said not much weight. Making wants to make contact. Alex Marshall on the mat. Scottish boys lead 16 8. Playing weight. What's going to happen? He's going to rattle into the head. It depends what happens now. Well, looks like. Give me fraction. Well, one to the Aussies. I think it's only one. It's definitely not two now. The trail 16 8, though. Really need two here. Maybe four ends remaining after this end. Four twos would be enough. Haven't had a measure yet in this final. I'm not sure this is going to get there, is it? Well, he doesn't want to turn the front Scottish bowl up, though. He could give it away. Oh, he hit the bowl and it's going to be tight. It wobbled a bit. I don't think it moved any closer, but. It is one to the Aussies, and they, they break that run of ends for Scotland. And number 16 is about to get underway here at Lockleeds. the difference three ends remain they've got to have what up Matt? at least a three yes they've got a score there's no doubt about that time's running out this is n16 of 18. they had an opportunity there but once again oh, alex marshall has put a stop to it run. Run. Good job, Matt. Start, well, it's another good start from Leif Selby. So he's picked his game up the last few ends. But is it all but too late? I just think they have to pick up at least three shots this end to, to put some scoreboard pressure on the Scots. Yes, yeah, so we've got to put some pressure on them and they need a multiple score, there's no doubt. One is going to be doing it tough. They could pick up a three or four, like you said. Put a bit of pressure on the Scottish lads. Go one, get, get it this time. I just yeah. haven't been able to consolidate. I fished Good. around a little bit, the Australian pair. And even the Scottish, I've just been the odd bowl, which has been a bit of straight. No, they've won a lot day. more ends than the Australian pair, so there's no doubt they've been the most consistent. And Paul Foster correcting well with his third bowl. Leif Selby didn't like it out of the hand. Come on, Leif. Hold on, mate. Hold. He's hanging around. Another one there. Well done. Yeah, there you go. Aaron yeah, Sheriff, another one there. We need bowls in the head. Can't score count unless you've got bowls around it. Hey. Hurry, mate. Hurry up, beat the yellows, you're good. Yeah, oh. yeah that's good, mate. Yeah, well, mate, draw a touch up. <laughs> Looking to become the first pair to hold the indoor and outdoor pairs title in the one year. It's pretty much all they've got left to achieve, yes. <laughs> isn't it really? Yes, there's not much that uh, the Scottish pair Hurry have not there. won. Hurry. Very good. I think between them they've won nine world indoor titles in the singles alone without counting the pairs that they've, they've put together. And obviously, to add the world outdoor title would be another big win on their CV. So 
Alex Marshall, Scotland holding one. Australia needs to pick up a two or a three. One minute. This is not going to help the Aussie cause at all. That's number two right in front of the jack. The left way, mate. You sit one of them too. The Australians now getting desperate. You've got to look to see where can they pick up three shots, not just the one. There's not much room through there to trail that jack to try and pick up multiple shots. You can't play that now. Still two Still to Scotland. Two, I don't have any of these yellow wins in either foot, do I? I know. So What's the danger there? Sorry? What's the danger? If you lift Aaron up, you'll get the shot away. But I'll just try and play good weight either side, mate. OK. <coughs> and you're in the position that they just need to get their bowls down there and see what happens and force the Aussies to do something a little bit different, don't they? That's right. And like Paul was saying, that they're, they're holding two shots. He doesn't want Alex to give the shot away. But he's just going to keep sort of being a nuisance and get another one around the head, and it's going to make it harder for Australia. And that's certainly not going to help either. I think they've got to get ripping through this. Well, I'd like to see Aaron Sheriff play some weight through this head. He's two down anyway. I still like this, mate. You can still get yours onto the jack while you're sitting that through. Dan, he's good also. It's a hard shot. He might prove me wrong. Six, eight, quick. Got to have this perfect to get this sort of result. Come on, mate. Well, Leif likes it. He needs the jack to go back. Nothing's going to happen. Very good. Well, there is a wall of Australian bowls just past the jack. Two or three. Get a right connection this end. Get a right connection this end. See, you get yours. Yeah. Can touch the jack. Yeah. If you sit that fat and touches the jack, not too bad. Yeah. Yours as well. Sweaty hands, I would think. Aaron Sheriff would have. Mm. Defence here from the Scottish boys. Get a right connection. Try and beat that Another world title is within their reach. They're hanging on to it at the moment. Alex Marshall trying to play a position bowl. Scotland lie two. And just trying to get just there. behind the head. Come on. He's on the wide side, but he's going to be on the right side because the jack can spring out that direction. He's trying to get in a little bit closer to the centre line if he could have. To re emphasise how tough this is going to be for the Aussies, it's taken them 15 ends to, win, to pick up nine shots. They've got to pick up another nine in three. Yes, it's not looking real good. While there's life, there's hope. That's it, Aaron Sheriff. Well, they've got a chance here. If they can turn the f turn a bowl up, well, he's playing weight. He needs to make some contact and get the jack back down the line a foot or two. Well, here we go. It looks narrow, but he needs a bit of luck. Well, it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened, but... There is a lot of a yellow Australian bowls where Paul Foster is standing. If I do come in, I'm, I'm in amongst them anyway. Yeah. On the left-hand side of the screen there where Paul Foster's foot is. If the jack was to go there, they could pick up three or four shots, Australia. That's where Alex Marshall will be trying to get to. That's where the danger is. Marshall. Let it go. That's still on on Okay, mate. All right. 
or you get a kill off it or something. Mm. Even if, if you I, got, if I got that, I'd probably peel around. Yeah. If I get it into there, I'd right. get a lot of them, and it's. That's right. Get yeah. the shoes well, off, I reckon, if you can get that. them. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, isn't it? This is it, I think. It's do or die here for Australia. They've got one, one on two, three, four. Bash that. Hopefully at a, at a good angle. They've got five or six bowls in there, but Scotland's got four. If that at a good angle, you never know. So Aaron four, Sheriff, bowl, can he play a miracle up, shot and get a few of them out? This is it. Well, he's on the mat. They're going to let fly here, and they need some luck, Australia. And the jack has spun up. They'll get a shot. Well, it's Just a good result. They're going to get at least one. one. That won't be enough, though. I wouldn't have thought. Get him in there and measure that. And they need to measure <laughs> for everything. So they're going to measure for a second. So they've at least got one to give themselves some chance. This is such an important measure for the Aussies. It's a long measure. Well, two would be a great result. Two down to two up, but we'll have to wait and see. I think it's a chance. It's a big chance, isn't it? We're about to get the result here, and it will be another measure. So while we're waiting for that, Andrew Holmes is downstairs. Yeah, thanks, Mark. I've got David Goulet again here as we wait for the measure. Um, David, as we last spoke, things have uh, gradually improved for you, but you still look very nervous. Yeah, certainly. I mean, after yesterday, what happened yesterday, you know, nothing's ever finished until the very last end. and. That was a huge ball by Aaron there. You know, I missed there and I think it was sealed. But, you know, we're still six up with two to play, so we're still in a very strong position. Is that one of the more important ends of the match so far for your guys? Sorry? One of the most important ends of the match for your guys? Yeah, I mean, I've said that every end's huge, but this is certainly the end. This is the, the decider, to be honest. You've got two very cool, calm and collective players representing you at the moment. That must give you great confidence. Yeah, I mean, Paul and Alex have been here so many times. They're experienced. They know exactly what they've got to do in this end. Enjoy the rest of the match. Thank you. Thanks. Still tough, but they are close enough, the Aussies, to still be in this match. Here, buddy. Touch, Matt. All right, mate. Is it there, is it? Yeah. Six to tie. To send it on. Well, that would be good enough. There's no doubt about that. Right, if Australia could level it and go to an extra in. They need three here. Yep. Good start, they need the score. Like I said earlier, I think Australia had to win the last four ends of the match to be a chance. They're in range. There's no doubt about that. They trail 17-11, but if they could pick up even a two, two or a three, the Scottish boys could panic but once again oh. Lee Selby needs to put the pressure on and the last few ends he's been able to do that but these first two opening bowls of this 17th end he's left a lot of room and that puts pressure and builds pressure as well it gives Paul Foster the chance to put the pressure back on the Aussies so I played, There you see it. It'll be the closest bowl, the last bowl. Down, mate. Down. 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 Oh, just had to get under that bowl, and he would have been very good. Yeah, still got one, mate. You're needing multiple shots. Yes, one That's won't right. be good enough, I don't hey, think. Matt. Got to get your bowls in the in the area together at the moment. The three Aussie bowls are all over the place. 
Vaseline your fudge yet, man. Well, Alex likes it. Drop. Down. Oh, oh, played, Paul. played it well, I think. Good. Very good, Matt. Three Scottish bowls are within the zone. In Australia's three bowls. Not in the best zone, you would say. He can draw the shot here, though. Put one right on top. I heard a bit of a hurry, so... Come on, mate. Hurry. All the way. One good one. That's what they need. On, Run! Well, it's going to be the shot, I think. Yep. Well, that's it. That's number one for Australia. I'm down to that, mate. Good all that. Pass for your last one. Can't alter much. Back to Paul Foster's last bowl. The second last end. Paul. Paul. Stay up. Oh, man, great effort, man. That's good, though. Well done. Oh, just went under. You're searching for the jack. Well, Australia, still a chance. They've been in control of this match, really, Scotland. Winning the majority of ends and building up a healthy lead, but they so know the Aussies will fight to the bitter end, and here it comes Aaron Sheriff. The line looks fair. Oh, he doesn't want to get the it's jack, the though. He doesn't want to get the jack because they're all Paul Foster's bowls back there. Well, I think Australia still goes one. It's not going to make it, it easy, still though. If you want to. See, it was one down. One down, yes. And there you that see behind. it. The Scottish boys, they'd be happy to go one down here, don't you worry. Australia needs at least two. Well, they're going to be chasing a big score on the last end. Hi. Alex Marshall, I'll tell you what, he's got a great road here. Oh, brilliant effort, mate. Oh, Good, just slides past. Aaron Sheriff's Aussie Bowl. Well, Aaron. To the backhand now. Holding for you. Aaron Sheriff, I'll tell you what. Oh, he's, oh, he's just tapped lucky. it on to he's... the bowl of Scotland's Paul Foster. He's had two touches and he's got nothing to show for it. Mm, Some respects unlucky. it. Sums up the final, doesn't it? Alan, come up. Have a look. It's off you. Thanks. Unlucky. Aaron Sheriff has just given the shot away, but he had to give it a chance. As you can see on screen, the Paul Foster's bowl is leaning against the jack. Australia, it's two seconds though. Alex Marshall, he'll be trying to get another one in the head. The blue ball on screen on the jack was to disappear. Australia could get two. Could get three. They could somehow conjure a miracle and get rid of those two blue balls. They could well, get gonna, four. <laughs> they're going to need a miracle, I think. So Alex Marshall on the map. Just trying to get another close ball, I think. It's all, it's all on his weight. It's no good. I don't know he's trying to block it. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, Australia has two seconds. The blue ball on screen. Baron Sheriff could remove that ball. We'll get a bit of jack and push it across to the white balls. He hasn't got much weight, so I think he's just trying to... Just a full draw for it. But Jack, he's not there. Well short. Well, that's not a very good bowl from Aaron Sheriff. He had to give his bowl a chance. Just out of butt, mate. Second last bowl here for Alex Marshall. So the end is in the hands of Scotland to finish it too, the way he has done so spectacularly in this final. You get this, buddy. Alex Marshall. And that is well short, but... Yeah, he's trying to block it, no doubt. Trying to get in Aaron Sheriff's way. So Aaron Sheriff, he's got to play. be some sort of weight here. He's got to be up. You can't get the shot if you're short, as you know. 
This is his last bowl, and this could be the final for the Aussies. Well, he doesn't like it, I don't think. He's going to have to get some sort of luck in there, and he's not up again, I don't think. He's well, not. Scotland's going to take one. And they won't have another bowl. And there is the one to Scotland. They lead by seven with one end remaining. So Australia must pick up eight shots to win outright on this last end. And that may be aiming for a little bit too much, Kelvin. Yes, against two international players as Paul Foster and Alex Marshall. I'll jump off a cliff, I think, if they get an eight, but uh, you never know. But yeah, it's hard work. The Aussie pair have just struggled a little bit in this match. The international experience of these two guys. Just been scrambling these last few ends. Unbeaten in the tournament, Scotland. They had two draws. The Aussies just the one loss to South Africa. And so, as it stands, leading by seven with one end remaining, it's fair to say that Scotland unbeaten in the tournament and they're on the precipice here paul foster and alex marshall are becoming the first pair to hold the indoor and outdoor world title well, life selby's gone for the jack i think they just try and change things up but it stay on well it's all but over i think and the scottish pair well it's going to be a tremendous effort to go through this tournament to be undefeated, like two draws, incredible effort. Yeah, you're okay, mate. As you were saying, they could be the world indoor champions and the outdoor champions in the same year, which has probably never been done before. Check our records. I think the Aussie pair. I think they know they're in trouble. I'm interested too in what impact this will have on Leif Selby. His first appearance on the TV rink in this championship. He's into the semi-finals of the singles. Whether there's any issue with him coming to terms with this green. He hasn't bowled well, has he? No, Leif Selby certainly, uh, you know, he's played well in the singles. But he's got to come back and play on this particular rink, so it'll be exactly the same rink um, that he'll play his semi-final match on. Going on, uh, I guess, you know, the inconsistency from this morning's match, he's going to have to go up a notch. Oh. Chasing the jack. <laughs> well, it's gone the wrong way. He was trying to get it to his other two bowls back on the edge. But it's going to be Your Scotland yep. become the 2012 World Outdoor Champions for 2012. It's physically impossible now for Australia to pick up a seven or even eight. Scotland will be just trying to cover it a bit. Just try and get it out. The only way to do it is to kill the end now and restart. Drawing. Just missed. So four bowls left. And one's in the ditch, so the Aussies, the maximum they could get would be a seven, but they're going to try and kill it, I think, to replay the end. It's their only chance now. Marshall. Well, he's trying to roll the jack in the ditch, so they can't kill it, I think. It's a plan of attack. Aaron Sheriff, well, I'm sure he's going to line up and have four drives to try and kill the end so they can restart. Oh, 
just missed. Fire one. And Alex Marshall, as you mentioned, Kelvin will be hoping that he can maybe Drop. put. Drop day. Put Alex it Marshall, have a look at this look for at a ball. ball. That's a fantastic shot from Alex Marshall. That's going to make it even harder for the Aussie pair. Well, the Scottish fans are getting ready to start celebrating. It's what? Six inches inside the ditch, if that. And there's a toucher there. Well, he's Here going. He's, got some... he's hit it. Just oh, grabbed the end. He's nicked it. I think it's gone sideways. Actually, it's gone backwards on the slope <laughs> of the edge of the green. It's further back towards the middle of the, the green. He's nicked it. Put it in again. And it actually rolled back towards Aaron Sheriff with the spin it had on it as well. Alex Marshall. So he's trying to run the jack in as well. Doesn't like it. It's Aaron Sheriff. He's going to try and kill it. He's got two left. Can only just see it from our position here. Come on, Az. Looks He's online. It. Uh, just missed. Well, I knows it. I don't know it over there. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Alex Marshall's just thrown it down there. <laughs> Must be a good feeling. No, he's going to have a gold medal around his neck very shortly. Didn't miss by much. And so this is it. To try and kill it. And prolong the agony in some respects for the Aussies. Aaron Sheriff. I have no idea who has shot. They're all over the place. He's hit it, and I don't know where it's gone. He's definitely got it. Must and it's in the in. ditch, and it is a couple of shots to the Aussies. But that is the title, the World Championship to Scotland. Paul Foster and Alex Marshall are pairs champions for 2012. The first pairing to hold the indoor and outdoor titles in the same year. And comprehensive in the end, Victor's 18-13 over Australia. Well, Scotland is celebrating victory in the men's pairs final, defeating Australia this afternoon here at Lockleys. And, and boys, first of all, Aaron Sheriff, uh, a tough match and beaten by best side on the day. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, you know the boys are a lot more consistent than we were. Uh, you know, I think um, myself personally we found it difficult there at times and... Uh, you know, but taking nothing away from the boys, they, they thoroughly deserve it. And they're, they're a champion team, and they showed that today. Life conditions were difficult today on this green, but you and Aaron have had a terrific tournament. Oh, look, we've really enjoyed it. Uh, to come up against these guys again in the final was, uh, it was a great thrill for us both, I think. But um, look, they played the critical shots when they needed the most today. So that's why they are a world-class side. And uh, look, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, Alex, 20 years after your first world title, what does today mean for you? Oh, it just means, you know, so much. You know, uh, many years ago I lost in the final and I wasn't wanting to lose in the final again. Uh, obviously playing with Paul, a uh, fantastic lead. Uh, but I'd just like to see Aaron in life. Two great guys, two fantastic players. I just thought we got, we got the breaks on the day, which was enough to win it. Well, Paul, conditions were difficult. The green, first time you've bowled on at this tournament and also a breeze picked up. How nervous were you throughout that final? Uh, to be honest, I wasn't nervous at all. I, was just, I said to myself I was going to enjoy the game, whatever happened, and I did that. But the rink was very tricky. But as Alex says, we probably edged it on the, the, the shots on the day, but two class guys and two gentlemen just delighted to win. Well, congratulations to Scotland, winner of the men's pairs final here at the 2012 World Championship. On behalf of my fellow commentator, Kelvin Kirko, I'm Mark Braybrook. It's goodbye from Adelaide. Congratulate our gold medalists, Alex Marshall, MBE and Paul Foster.